Welcome back to Business Highlights TV. Hi, I'm Scott Romgen. I'm here with Beth Strathman from Firebrand Consulting. So Beth, let's talk a minute about how to deal with employees. Now I bet one of the questions that you always get from business leaders is how do I deal with these millennials? Now what, what's going on here? Yes, that's, that's a frequent question. Well, you know, millennials, my take on this is that millennials aren't that different from other employees. From my perspective, they just won't put up with as much as other generations will. So just a couple of tips for millennials, you know, handling millennials and working with them. First of all, um, millennials like to uh, work as a team. So you can really um, get them interested uh, in working on particular projects and things like that if they have other people to work with. Mm. It's not to say that they can't work individually, but they do like teamwork. Another thing is they love to continue to learn. They love to get professional development, whether that's training or new experiences, whatever it is, they love to learn, as do other employees. Now, a little bit different, though, is they don't respond as well to like authoritarian type leadership. It, rather instead, they like to have someone who's more of a coach and a mentor to them. Mm. So if they feel like someone has taken them under their wing and is kind of showing them the ropes and giving them that professional development, they really respond to that. Okay. And of course, they like to connect to a higher purpose and, and have a meaning in the work that they do. Again, all these things that other employees respond to too as well, but um, millennials kind of more insist on these kind of things. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how do you improve the employee motivations? I'm sure it's not something as simple as throwing another ping pong table in the, in the break room, right? <laughs> no, but people wish it were that easy, I'm <laughs> sure, right? No, actually, um, for employee motivation, I kind of look at it this way. Everybody wants to be successful. Hmm. So your employees already show up at work wanting to do a good job. What we have to do as leaders and managers is, is make sure that we don't interfere with that natural motivation. So at bottom, it really means that we have to work hard to create clear expectations and a fair workplace. And a real key to that is making sure that we as managers are really good at managing people so that we are consistent and fair and clear in what we expect of them. Okay. So sometimes, no matter what we do, we have a toxic person. How do we deal with an, a toxic employee? Yeah. Well, let me just clarify what I think of when I think of a toxic employee. It would be an employee who um, is really negatively impacting the relationships in the organization. So they're not creating good relationships or they're destroying relationships. And that really affects teamwork as well. Um, so it would be people who are like bullies, maybe they're victims and martyrs, uh, and maybe they're just real gossipy and they're always stirring up trouble. Those kinds of employees, it's just basic, you know, employee management 101. You have to be willing to confront those issues and be able to set clear expectations that are tied to your policies and the values of your company for their behavior and their for, for their performance, and then be able to hold them accountable to your expectations and not be afraid to maybe eventually uh, exit somebody from your company, even if they're a pretty decent performer. That toxic behavior can be much more corrosive and it's not worth keeping around even a good performer. Okay, all right. Uh, so now in this day and age, how do we go about building better teams in a company? Yeah, well, teams are interesting, too, because we think of teams as, well, we just get a group of employees together, now they're a team. Well, mm -hmm. eh, sometimes it's not that easy. And you have to really look, do you have just a work group or do you have a team? And for me, a team is a group of people who have a common goal and a common purpose that they're working towards. They're not just people who happen to work close together and can sometimes kind of help each other out. So you have to have, first of all, to get a good team going, you have to have that common purpose or goal. And then you have to be very mindful about making sure that you've got the right mix of people on the team. So people who bring a different variety of skills to bear on whatever you're going to, to um, achieve. And not only skills, but also 
uh, ways of being. And by that I mean some people are, have really great attention to detail. Other people are big picture people. Some people like to talk in front of groups. Other people would rather just stay in the background and research. You want that mix of personalities as well as the mix of skills to create that team. And then you have to get them to work together in a way that they can really know how to work together and get the best out of each other as they work towards their goal and constantly monitor that. Okay. So yeah, it's not just as easy as <coughs> throwing together a couple of people sure. on the team. Okay, all right. So how do you create a sense of harmony and collaboration inside these companies? Yeah, again, uh, harmony and collaboration starts from the top. If you want harmony and collaboration, you've got to emulate those qualities in yourself first. And you as a senior team, you and your senior team uh, have to be collaborative with each other. You can't get uh, fixed in your silos and say, hey, that's my bailiwick, get out of here. <laughs> Dig right? it in. Yeah. Right, exactly. So you've got to emulate that for your employees. If you can't model that kind of behavior, nobody else is going to behave that way either. So you really do, again, have to put your ego aside and really look at what's best for the company and work together in a way that you can achieve it. All right. Well, I love this information. And I'm sure there's a lot of leaders out there that could really use your advice. How do they get a hold of you? Well, they can uh, get a hold of me through my website, which is firebrandconsultingllc.com. Okay. All right. I'd just like to remind you that Beth is also the host of a podcast called Lead Like Nobody's Business, and that's available on iTunes. Well, Beth, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks, Scott. Glad to be here. All right.